Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In this chapter, we'll focus on endpoints, Cisco IP phones. Cisco has various uh, different uh, endpoints that can be registered to COCM. For example, um, Cisco 8900 series, 6900 series, and 7900 series phones that can be registered to COCM using either Skinny protocol or SIP. These type of phones will have uh, different models with the different features such as the color screen, the touch tone, and so and so. You also have a Cisco SIP video phones that can register to uh, COCM using the SIP protocols. The older version of skinny video phones such as the 80, 7985, you have a third party video terminals from Tanbark or Sony. You have a third party SIP phone that can be registered and Cisco SIP only phone that are only can support SIP protocols no other protocols for example. Now 7900 series phones are end of sales as of now so you have to order 8900 or 6900 series phones. A Cisco, Cisco Skinny IP phone startup process re goes through a series of uh, steps before the phone can register. First of all when the phone connects to a Cisco catalyst switch on a power over Ethernet switch, switch will provide the power to the phone using a CDP protocol. Now, once the phone obtains the power, it's going to try to load a locally stored image in the phone. Every phone usually has some sort of basic operating system running in a firmware within its configurations. So, locally image will be stored. Once that is done, the phone will then obtain the VLAN information from the switch using CDP protocol. Cisco discovery protocol. So it is very important for Cisco phones to ensure the switch has CDP enabled. The phone will send a DHCP request just like any normal PC does and receives an IP information along with the TFTP server address which is the most important part because the TFTP server tells the phone where to go and download the configuration file. Now TFTP server does not tell the phone where to go and register to. It simply tells the phone where to go and download the configuration file. The configuration file in return contains a list of call measures that the phone can register to. So the configuration is received from TFTP. The phone will register with the call manager according to the configuration file and the call manager will then send the soft key template to the phone. So this is the normal process of how a phone will start up and register to the call manager. Cisco Unified Endpoint Telephony feature will, will depend on what protocols they are being used. Each protocol has different set of features and limitations.